Good morning. Today we'll be doing a core and more class. So let's just start by moving. <laughs> First step in exercising, move. Anything you want to do, even if you're still seated, you can still just start moving your arms, start kicking your legs, whatever you want to do, just start moving. Good. And swing those arms above your head. Whatever feels more comfortable, you can do a couple of circles. Deep breath in and out. Maybe a little marching in place. Again, whatever you want to do. It can be this or something else. Just keep breathing. Good. All right. So we will start with a dumbbell. One dumbbell. Again, as always, you can use any other object you want to use. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start at our left hip, go across our body, and then lift up. So we're going to go left hip over right, and left leg comes up. So it's a little extra thing in there. So again, feel free to skip that last part and just continue with your regular chop. If you want to, you can try that extra leg up and back down. So if you're not doing that leg up, maybe just hold at the top a little bit longer and really focus on that pelvic tilt. So we're gonna try for eight on each side. So a little bend in the knee, left hip over right, and lift up your left leg. Step back down and repeat. Left hip over right, and lift that left leg up. So the whole time, you wanna try to really draw that belly button in, making sure there's not an arch in your back. Good. Keep breathing. I know there's a lot of things to think about, but nice and slow. We're not rushing through this. Good. Awesome. This is six. Lift, down, and lower. Good. Awesome. We have two more. Keep breathing, chop, up, and down. All right, now we'll do the same thing on the other side, but again, now this time, your right leg is gonna optionally come up if you feel like it. Okay, so slight bend in the knee. You can bend a little further to get to your right hip, over your left shoulder, and knee comes up. Good, right hip, over, and right leg comes up. Make sure you have that pelvic tilt, especially at the top. Good. Three. Good. Four. Awesome. Five. Nice and steady. Really focusing on that pelvic tilt. We have two more on this side. Good. Up. Awesome. Last one. Right hip diagonal across and knee. Okay. Awesome. So now we're going to grab our other dumbbell. So again, very similar to some of the basic core exercises we usually do, but just a little bit extra. So we're going to have our feet about hip distance apart, little bend in the knee, pelvic tilt. Then we're going to try to have both of our dumbbells. We're going to have them facing um, vertically. Then I'm going to have you punch out forward, kind of rotating your wrist and slowly back in. So what I want to make sure you don't do is lunge your whole body forward to get your arm out further. The main thing I want you to focus on is the pelvic tilt. One arm goes out, comes back in. Other arm goes out, comes back in. Mainly trying to keep everything else stable as your arms are moving. So again, you can definitely do this without any dumbbells and just focus on that pelvic tilt. All right, we're gonna do eight punches on each side. A little bend in the knee, set that pelvic tilt, punch, and back in. 
Make sure you're breathing. Show you from both sides. So I want to make sure my butt's not sticking out. It's tucked in as much as you can get it tucked in. Good. Draw that belly button in. Awesome. Keep breathing. Four. Good. Five. Good. Six. Keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt. Awesome. Last one on each side. And done. Okay, great job. You can put one of your dumbbells down again. We'll go back to the chop with the optional leg lift or knee kick, whatever you want to call it. All right, so bring those feet apart. A little bend in the knee. You can bend a little further down to hit your left hip. So you can go over your right shoulder and optional leg up. Good. Keep breathing. Focus on that pelvic tilt. It's more important than you might think. Good. And nice and slow, no rushing through. Good, left hip over right shoulder, optional leg up. Okay, halfway on this side. Keep breathing. Good. Awesome. Good, you're doing great, you got this. Two more. Make sure you still have that pelvic tilt. And last one. And down. Okay, let's head to the, or not head to, we'll switch to the other side. We're still gonna be in that same position. We're gonna go from our right hip over our left shoulder, optional knee comes up. Make sure you're holding that pelvic tilt, especially at that top point. Good, keep breathing. Three. Awesome. Four. Good, you're halfway there. Five. Good, nice and slow. Six, last two. Seven. And eight. Okay, perfect. So grab that other dumbbell again. All right, so again, feet about hip distance apart. <laughs> Pelvic tilt. Weights at your chest. Punching straight out and back in. Again, try not to lunge your body forward, holding everything stable with that pelvic tilt. Keep breathing. Awesome. Three. Good. Four. Good. Five. Check on that pelvic tilt. Make sure that stomach is tucked in as much as you can. Good. Last two. Keep breathing. One more on each side. And done. Okay. All oh, awesome. All right. Now we're going to hold those weights to our side. And we're, again, we're going to just kind of do a variation of what we have done before. Pelvic tilt to the right, center, to the left, center, and then we're going to do a side arm raise. So we're bringing those arms in there a little bit, but again, we're still practicing that pelvic tilt as our arms come up. So if this bothers your arms at all, you can just do an extra one of these. So as we're doing this, you can come from side to side. We're gonna do eight of those. So here we go, pelvic tilt, little crunch to the right, little crunch to the left, side arm raise and down. Again, the main focus is that pelvic tilt, trying to make sure your back is flat. Good, keep breathing. We're gonna do eight of these. Good, nice and slow, three. Good. Awesome, halfway. You got this. Just really feel that bend in your waist. 
Hold the stomach in as your arms come up. Good. Six. Good. Awesome. Seven. Almost there. Last one. Little crunch to the right, left, and side. Awesome. Okay, now for the next one, we won't even need our dumbbells. So put those to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring our right elbow towards our left knee. So again, they don't have to touch. Feel free to hold on to something to help with your balance. Again, you can do a little kind of crunch forward, or you can try to stay upright and just see how far they can come together by doing that pelvic tilt. So optional little crunch, only if it feels okay and you're feeling it in the front part, not the back. All right, we're gonna do eight on each side. So optional holding on, right elbow to left knee, and back up. Good, two. Keep breathing. Again, nice and slow, focusing on that pelvic tilt at the top. Three, good. Four, awesome. Five, good. Six, good. Seven, keep going and last one, eight. Awesome, all right. Give the legs and arms a little shake and we'll do the other side. So left arm up, right toe pointed out, left elbow towards right knee. Good, pelvic tilt at the top. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, five. Good, last two. Good, and one more. Perfect, all right. Give everything a little shake. We're gonna go back to side, side, side. <laughs> side, side, side. Okay, so grab those dumbbells once again. Take a deep breath. Feet hip distance apart, pelvic tilt. A little crunch to the right. A little crunch to the left and side arm raise. Good. Keep breathing. Keep that pelvic tilt. Again, just come as far to the side as it feels comfortable, making sure you're not feeling it in your back. Or at least it's not hurting your back. You might feel it a little bit, but if it's kind of feeling like a strain, don't go as far to the side. Okay, that was four. Keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt. Five. Good. Six. All right, last two, you got this. Good. And side, last one. Good. And side. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the elbow to knee. We'll do eight on each side and then we'll head to the floor for some more fun. Okay, so again, optional holding on, right arm up, left toe out, right elbow towards left knee, maybe a little crunch to the top, pelvic tilt. Good, two. Keep breathing, three. Good. Four, try to make sure that standing leg isn't locked in if you are balancing on it. Good, last two. Good, and one more. Awesome. All right, give everything a little shake before we move to the other side. Left arm up, right toe out, left elbow towards your right knee. Again, try to make sure this left leg is not locked in. Good, pelvic tilt at the top. Three. Four. Good. Five. Awesome. Six. 
Last two, seven and eight. Perfect. All right, give everything a little shake. Grab some water if you'd like, and we'll meet on the floor. So take your time getting there. All right. Okay, so again, take your time getting there. If you get there early, you can do a little side to side. Just catching your breath. We'll do a few things down here and then we'll stretch at the end. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna just start off with is one of my favorites, the flutter kick. So you decide the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. I just want you to make sure that your lower back is pressed into the ground. So we're gonna try for 30 seconds. Oops, um, let's get that timer out here. All right, you ready? We'll start in three, two, one. Little flutters. Keep going. Keep breathing. Again, if your back does start to pop up, I want you to take a little rest and put your legs down. If not, keep fluttering. You're halfway there. Good. Awesome job. We're almost there. Good, we have three, two, one. All right, give yourself a little rest. Maybe do a couple side to side. All right, so now what we're going to do is, so we're gonna lower as low as you can go, bring your legs apart, back in, and all the way to the top. So again, if it's hard to bring your legs down, you can kind of just stay at the top and go from side to side. If you wanna add that extra lower and back up, basically what we're gonna do is lower, out, in, and up. So again, if your back starts to come up, I want you to take a little rest and put your feet down. So we're gonna do eight of those. Again, if you don't want to do the lowering part, you can just continue with the legs in and out until we're done. Okay, here we go. Lower, out, in, and up. Lower, out, in, and up. Again, continue to breathe. Make sure that lower back is flat. Good. Lower, out, in, up, or halfway. Good. So this is one of those ones, um, like many others, you don't want to push through it if you feel like it's hurting your back. So if you start to feel it in your back, I want you to let your legs rest. Okay, and that was eight anyway. So we finished that first round. Do a little side to side knees. That one was a little bit harder. And we're going to go back to our flutter kicks for 30 seconds. All right, we'll start. We'll give ourselves a couple more seconds. Take a deep breath in and out. And we'll start in three, two, one. Pelvic tilt, fluttering. Good. Awesome job. Keep breathing. Again, you can always bring them up higher if it's too much down here. We're halfway there. Good. Awesome. We have three, two, one, three. All right, little side to side. And we're gonna go back to the lower, out, in, and up. Or just in and out. All right, let me turn this timer off or I'll keep going forever. Okay, here we go. Starting at the top, lower, out, in, and up. Lower, out, in, up. Good, keep breathing. Make sure you have that pelvic tilt. Down, out, in, and up. We're halfway there. Out, in, 
and up, down, out, in, and up, two more, down, out, in, and up, and last one, down, out, in, and up. Okay, give those legs a little rest. We're gonna do one last thing before we stretch. So we're going to bring our legs to 90 degrees and extend them out a little further so you're engaged, you feel it in that lower core. And instead of moving your legs, we're just going to be moving our arms back and forth, but holding this dead bug position. So it's kind of like the idea of a plank, but the other way around. So really making sure your knees aren't too close in towards you where you're not really feeling it in your core. You want to extend them out so you feel, you know, a little bit right here, but also being able to keep your lower back down. So we're going to end up doing eight of these on each side. Again, if that feels like too confusing to think of that and this at the same time, you can just hold. This kind of, I feel like, distracts you from the hold, so I kind of like it. So 90 degrees, extend out, pelvic tilt, arm goes back and up. Good, keep holding. Good. Three. Make sure that back is down. Four. Good. Five. Remember, this is the last thing you got this. Six. And then we'll stretch. Seven. And last one. Eight. Perfect. Give those legs a rest. We'll do a quick little stretch here. Again, feel free to repeat these a second round, especially if it's feeling a little bit tight. Or check out our stretch video on YouTube. So you can close your eyes if you would like. You can bring your arms out to the side and we'll bring both knees over to one side for a spinal twist. And again, just listen to your body. If this feels uncomfortable or painful, don't do it. Good, you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth into your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, we're going to slowly come back to center, bring the knees to the other side. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right, coming back to center, and we're gonna grab both knees, pull them in towards our chest, and we're gonna just do a little rocking side to side. Awesome, keep breathing here. This should, again, feel good. Or it might be a little tight, but it should not hurt. All right, we're gonna release that leg, extend it out. We'll hold one in towards our chest. Deep breath in and out. Keep breathing. All right, we're gonna slowly transition to the other leg, extending out and pulling that other knee in towards your chest. Deep breath in and out. Awesome. All right, now we're going to extend both legs out and we're going to bring those arms over our head again if it feels okay. Just kind of stretching out our whole body. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right, slowly bring those arms back down. We're going to slowly 
make our way to a seated position for a minute. Any position you'd like, your legs can be out, knees, crossed, whatever you want to do. And we're just going to roll those shoulders back and forward. Trying to sit up as straight as you can. We're going to do a big head roll all the way around. Good, nice and slow. And reverse. And then whatever seated position you're in, I want you to just reach forward, stretching out your lower back. Make sure you're breathing. You can step your hands to the right. center and to the left. Good. All right, sitting yourself up, take a moment here and then we're gonna slowly make our way to standing. So take your time. Okay, now that you're at the top, I want you to bring your legs apart. Little bend in the knee. Let your whole body fall forward, swing from side to side. Then grab a hold of your elbows. And you'll slowly roll up. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Just two more. Big deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, great job, everyone.